over there. Can you tell me what a preposition is? A prep a what? That's what I should do. It's after all this time, you're back for more. I won't stop until they know my name. So take what's mine. Shout out to Froggy Man One for becoming an Ultra member. Thank you so much, bro. Anyways, let's start the video. Hey everyone, SMG here, welcome back to another video. I'm going to be reacting to the new Bruce Do episode called Middle School. Now this came out like a day ago, or and like a few days ago, like, came out the 12th, but I'm, I'm actually reacting to it on the evening of the 13th. So, yeah, we can get this started right away. Make sure you watch the original video, subscribe to Bruce Do, make sure you like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that good jazz. And yeah, we can get this started right here, right now in three, two, one, let's go. All right, now I think it's safe to say that middle school was a pretty rough time for most people. Chances are you didn't have a lot going on for you when you were 12 years old. You probably yep. had braces back then, puberty was hitting you like a ton of bricks, or maybe you were the lucky cool kid that could finally grow a little dirt mustache to brag about. <laughs> I look like Burt Reynolds. Or perhaps you were the weird goth kid in class. I'm mm -hmm. not cleaning my room, Mom and Dad, because I'm a sad, brooding little bastard, and my heart is an ocean of sadness. <laughs> Oh, by the way, it's pizza day today. Can I have two dollars? But for me personally, <laughs> middle school marked what I would like to call my spiky hair phase. And that consisted of me slathering a bunch of L.A. Looks hair gel into my head and then spiking my hair up so that it resembled the ass of a porcupine. And you had to be careful because it's like having a lethal weapon on the top of your head. You're screwing around, you accidentally trip in the hallway, all of a sudden you're getting charged with second degree manslaughter and shit. Now, I have to say that my first day of middle school did not go as well what? as I wanted it to. I mean, it started off pretty good. I hopped off the bus looking fresh as hell. I'm wearing my finest limp biscuit t-shirt you see me rolling my goddamn trapper keepers the size of a small child i was all set to go but since this was a new school i had no idea where the hell i was going i'm wandering around the hallways looking for my first class clueless as hell mm -hmm. god is this room 208 uh kid this is the fucking bathroom <laughs> you know, I have my dick in my hand i'm asking random people in the hallway hey do you know where room 208 is uh i have no idea kid i'm the janitor i'm drunk as hell right now so now i'm starting to panic and it's the type of panic that gives you nightmares later on in life ah where the hell is room 208 so now i'm running down the hallway like i'm in a goddamn jason statham movie and just when i'm about to get to the classroom i trip over my own feet and eat shit in the hallway my giant trapper keeper soars through the air and smokes a bunch of children i go to stand up and that's when i realize I totally just ripped a big ass hole in the crotch of my pants. There's teachers peeking out of their classroom and shit. Wow, who the hell still wears whitey tighties? I don't know, but I can see that kid's balls right now and I sure don't like it. But now I have to use my big ass trapper keeper as a shield to guard my crotch for the rest of the day. Okay, not a great way to start your middle school career. So let me give you a brief summary of a few classrooms that I went to on that first day of middle school. Class number one, American history taught by Mr. Banks. Now Mr. Banks was old as hell, which is probably why he taught American history because as well, he was alive for two-thirds of it. He was so old that back when he first started teaching, they were still allowed to hit kids in the ass with wooden paddles. Oh, now shit. He even had his wooden paddle up on display in front of the classroom. Yeah, you little bastards sure do have it easy these days. Back in my day, if a kid fucked up a spelling test, I could knock him upside the head with a two-by-four. <laughs> Class number two, algebra, taught by Mrs. Salo. Now, Mrs. Salo was also old as hell, just not old enough to beat up children back in the day and get away with it. Instead, uh -huh. she would beat kids over the head with mathematics. I mean, this was our first dose of algebra. Kid. Our 12 year old brains couldn't comprehend it. Uh, Mrs. Salo, are you drunk or something? Why the fuck are you putting letters in mathematics? <laughs> Last three, lunch. All right, not really a class, but I don't give a damn. Now, the lunchroom was ran by a guy named Mr. Watson. And Mr. Watson was a weird dude. He wore a purple suit, he had a jerry curl that was absolutely flawless. And he was the size yep. of a goddamn Megazord. This dude was like six foot seven. There was a rumor that he used to He looks like a girl, honestly. The Indianapolis Colts. Now, whether that was true or not, I don't know. Because there was also a rumor that he beat up a goddamn Kodiak brown bear. And I don't even know what, what Mr. Watson the... did at school. He wasn't a teacher. It was like they just pulled some guy off the street like... It's a hey, lunch bear. supervisor. Man, can you scare the shit out of a bunch of 12-year-olds so they behave in the lunchroom? Yeah, I can do that. So you just stand in front of the classroom with a microphone. All right, you kids, I want you to quiet down, damn it. This ain't an episode of Soul Train. Quiet down. Episode of Soul Train? What the hell is what that? The... I don't know, dude. Shut up. You want to end up like that goddamn Kodiak brown bear? Class number four, English class, taught by Mr. Delato. Now, there's no two ways about it. Mr. Delato was just purely insane. He was like the cross of Mr. Clean and a drunk homeless guy that had a concussion. That was Mr. Delato. <laughs> He'd sit up at his desk and talk to himself. I don't know what we're going to do today. What are we going to do today? Anybody know what we're going to do today? I don't know what we're going to do today. Is this guy possessed just by Just making devil? assay. What the hell is going on? English is about essays and stuff. Paying attention. You over there. Can you tell me what a preposition is? A prep a what? 
Now, so I stood out because of my stupid-ass haircut back then. It didn't take long for Mr. Delato to call on me. Hey, you over there with the hair. Uh, who, me? Yeah, you tall hair. Hey, you look like that guy on TV that sells meat sticks. Uh, the who? You know the guy on TV with the meat stick? He goes, eat me. You know the guy. Now, nobody knew what the hell Mr. Delato's incoherent ass was talking about. But apparently, he was talking about the guy that does the Slim Jim commercial. Slim Jim. Oh, yeah, snap into a Slim Jim. No, 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 not Macho Man Randy Savage. I mean, this weird guy. Snap into a Slim Jim. Eat me. So apparently to Mr. Delato, my hair didn't look like a porcupine's ass. It looked like a goddamn beef stick. Go ahead and say what the beef stick guy says on TV. Say, eat me. Uh, no, I'd rather not do eat that. Eat me. Go in front of the whole classroom and yell, eat me, goddammit. So there I am in front of my wink, seventh grade wink. class, crotchless, about to recite a goddamn TV commercial. Eat me. Louder. And with more enthusiasm. Eat, eat me. me. Somebody call me, please. Now the whole class is losing their shit. Wow, who the hell still wears whitey tighties? I don't know, but I can see that kid's balls right now, and I sure don't like it. So needless to say, when I got home from school that day, that L.A. looks hair gel went straight into the garbage, and my ass never spiked my hair again. So the next time you think you were awkward or weird in middle school, just be glad you didn't become Slim Jim's new 12-year-old crotchless mascot. Snap into a Slim Jim! Hey, <laughs> mate! BruceDew.com I would say that was really good and really funny. Bruce Dew is such a really funny guy, honestly. Anyways, guys, yeah, make sure you watch the original video. Make sure you subscribe to Bruce Dew. Make sure you watch the... I already said the original video. Make sure you like this video, subscribe, ring the bell. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Thanks for watching. Deuces.